Our mission is the liberation of Griswold. I'll explain the details. Griswold is protected by the Atmos Ring-powered Meson Cannon. Our troops will not be able to approach the city because of the MBSRs brought in from Monte Breeze. Our only hope is to send a small squadron of fighters in for a surprise attack and take out the cannon. Fortunately, the enemy has put all of their faith in the cannon and has yet to deploy ground troops. Destroy the Mezzan cannon and the fighters protecting it, and the city is ours. The capital's liberation is finally within our grasp. Sir, please decide the course of action.
city of Gaia's Tower, is what I wish I could tell you. But there's no one here! Gaia's Tower is ours! Griswold's been liberated. With the loss of their central command, Laysap forces have begun to pull out of Aurelia. The streets of Griswold are overflowing with citizens, celebrating the defeat of the Laysap oppressors. Even soldiers have joined in the celebration. Sir, the people won't soon forget your brave actions that led us here. We've done it, sir! With each passing day, news of new Aurelian victories came pouring in. The Southern Cross's action spurred the surviving Aurelian troops to battle. Commanding Officer Diego Navarro has retreated and is currently being pursued by special forces. No one would have guessed that a ragtag band of soldiers smaller than a single unit could have put up such fierce resistance. December 10th, several days after the liberation of Griswold, I made my way towards one of the many cities busy recovering from the ravages of the war. Despite my usual misgivings, I could feel myself getting excited at the prospect of meeting the Southern Cross. But when I reached the base, I saw his emblem already gleaming in the skies above. I had heard that today was their first break in a while, but something must have changed that. I merely watched as the jet's contrail stretched far off into the distant sky. Suddenly. I was overcome by a strong sense of dread. The misappropriated financial and material resources were on a scale much greater than the airborne fortress alone could account for. Would the weapon at Griswold prove to be the missing piece to the puzzle? Updated situation report. The forces hunting Laysaf Commander Diego Navarro have been decimated at the Danern Straits. It appears that Laysaf has developed a new type of attack aircraft. I can't believe they had a working prototype from the aerial fortress. Sorry, back to the report. The new attack aircraft is named Fenrir, according to Laysaf reports. From the satellite intel gathered, it appears that the aircraft took off from Sentry Island. We received information from intelligence services that there appears to be a factory on the island. There are two routes to Sentry Island. First, Laysaf has a squadron of ace pilots, the Alex Squadron, situated near the Danern Straits. They are currently headed for Sentry Island. If a pilot of that caliber were to pilot the new craft, we would have a lot of trouble on our hands. Another route is Cobalt Cave, the location of enemy research facilities. 
It is believed that they are preparing to move some sort of weapon. We don't know the details, but it is most likely a weapon to mount to Fenrir. The ace pilots and the unknown weapon are both major concerns, but we can only deal with one of these threats. You must stop whatever Laysath has planned. You are about to enter Laysath territory. We don't have much intel to go on, but you need to decide how to proceed.